Hi, James. Yes, my name is uh, James Avery. I am the founder and CEO of Kevl. Uh, Kevl is an API infrastructure company, and we work with uh, you know hundreds of different partners who build their ad platforms on top of our APIs. Hi, and uh, my name is Paulo. I'm the CEO of Velocity, and Velocity is a first-party uh, customer data platform that helps brands and retailers take back their own data and create better marketing strategies and grow their business through better audience segmentation. Yeah, and we're here today because we've joined forces. Indeed. And James, we, we've met each other, I don't I it's a great question because the first time we spoke, I think it was 2011 perhaps, because we, we've, we um, you know, our background as a company a long time ago, a part of our services was to, was to do digital uh, advertising, consulting, and uh, AdZerk, you know, has been in my personal radar for over 10 years because uh, there were not that many people trying to create the foundational infrastructure for people to do their own thing. You know, doing their own thing was not a thing in 2011. Well, and back in 2011, we were like 10 people. Yeah. But you did find the email recently yeah, I did. that you <laughs> sent us in 2011 to our then VP of Sales, now VP of Sales Americas, Ron, Yes, who was still with us. So which, is, which is great. We could rekindle that. We can just reply to the email and see, <laughs> see what we can get going. Indeed. You know, we work a lot with our customers. We hear a lot of feedback from our customers. And one thing we kept hearing over and over again was how do we bring more and more of our first party data to bear into our ad platforms? Because when a company builds an ad platform, one of the really unique things they can do is use that first party data. As a company, we've always been very, very privacy focused. And so for us, you know, first party data or any, any uh, personal, you know, consumer data is very sensitive. And as we were kind of looking around in the market, we, we found this company, Velocity, who had taken a very unique approach to both pulling in first-party data, but also doing it in a very privacy-centric way. Uh, and then as I got to know Paulo, I realized we were very similar in how we thought about the market, how we thought about uh, you know, how privacy is very, very important, uh, and felt like it was like a perfect match. Uh, and from our customers, we knew that we, we had to improve our platform around first-party data, and this acquisition is a perfect opportunity for that. Um, and I'll also say that with with any acquisition and like, is it the right time for an acquisition? Uh, a lot of it comes down to the people. And like, are you adding people that you know you're going to get along with and work well with? And that would be really great for the team. And I think from early on, like Paulo and I have had a good back and forth rapport conversation, like work through different deals. Uh, so we knew it would be a great match. Indeed. The Velocity uh, as, as a company has always, you know, strive to get people on, on, on using their first party data. And one of the challenges we've always had was we couldn't, uh, um, we wanted people to do more uh, specifically around on-site personalization, uh, on-site campaign management. And we've always struggled to get uh, either, you know, maybe that, that we wouldn't even find other partners or technologies that could enable our customers to leverage their data in that way. And so what we saw with Cavill was the opportunity to do the one plus one is more than three. It's bringing the potential um, you know, functionality that can be created from an ad server to be used as uh, from a brand marketer to be used on site for personalization and other bits. And so, you know, as long as, as long as it's been you know, a few days since the actual acquisition happened, but what we're really seeing is by talking to customers, we immediately see there's an opportunity for that. Um, and as a brand, uh, Cavill and you know, previously with Adzerk, they have a great reputation in the market. And so we think those two pieces combined is really what uh, made a lot of sense uh, from, from our business. But also we've already seen that in reality in the last few days when talking to sort of the first customers that knew about this, they got excited, right? And when you have customers excited about that opportunity, you know you're doing the right thing. What are you most excited about? Doing that, exactly. I'm okay. most excited about bringing to market something that hasn't you know, ever been made before. Uh, and really, we really align with the, um, the idea that everyone, every business should really have much higher degree of control over their business, over their data, over the customers. And so I think that's the alignment. And being able to now perhaps come to market together with those joint offerings, with those opportunities to create uh, products that are very safe, privacy first, 
uh, that's that's really what excites me because I think that that's the, that's the present, not even the future, and the market is totally underserved by that sort of technology. Yeah, I mean, I think the the thing that's really exciting about the acquisition is that it is going to be uh, it's good for both sets of our customers. So customers that are currently building on Kevl's APIs today will now have access to this very powerful data platform to bring in their first party data automatically generate new segments and, and new optimizations. And then when we look at a lot of uh, Velocity's customers today, they will be able to bring in some of the power of the Kevl's APIs to do things like on-site personalization, yeah. et cetera. And, and the customers that we have that are building their own um, ad tech or MarTech stack, and that you, that you were using Velocity as just a component for the marketing data part, uh, would definitely be interested in exploring more with the with the Caval APIs because they'll now be able to do more in a single place. And I think that's what you know. End of the day, mostly the enterprise customers they're looking for simplicity, uh, and I think this will bring them simplicity. Our customers would love to be able to get in one place the ability to leverage both advertising, on-site personalization, e-commerce, retail media, anyone who's wanting to do anything related to these areas in one place with a single view, in a way. Of the entire stack, be able to, you know, component by component, build their own retail media strategy without having to do additional um, integration checks. Because we know we're going to integrate, because it's 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 already integrated, right? <laughs> that's the whole starting point. So that that's why I think the biggest opportunity for our current customers. Um, but also, I'm excited about the future customers that I believe will be harder for us to be, um, you know, acquiring as an independent business. Um, especially in the mid to higher end enterprise customers, those will be you know leveraging the additional um, you know office locations that you know Kevl now has, the the additional resources in both sales, customer success, marketing, and, and I think that's something we will take years to to achieve. And from you know the business perspective, we're just accelerating that opportunity, and I think it's really exciting. Yeah, I mean, so we've taken the approach of we, we kind of have these independent components uh, that our customers can use to kind of build their ideal, you know, ad platform or, or MarTech stack. Uh, and so in this case, Velocity will be basically a product org. Uh, and so we, we'll be getting a new name, which we're not ready to announce yet. Oh, no? Okay. No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, um, and so, that, and then, it, you know, operate as an independent product org, uh, but then our sales team and marketing team will be able to work across and sell all products and support all products. Uh, so it, you know the the strong like product and engineering group that's been built here in Porto like will stay together as a group in the company. Yeah, and that that's really the when I add on, that, on on the cultural side of things, um, it's it's so fascinating because Adzurk and Kevl now have been an inspiration in many ways on the cultural alignment. You know the the good sort of motto, uh, and this is one of the pieces that I think has been very relevant for us as we you know have been talking for a very long time. Digital advertising has been changing recently to be a lot more privacy you know, friendly. Um, and this is a good thing. And with that, brands are trying to understand what, what can they do, right? Taking back their data has been our you know, approach and what we are solving. But with Kevl, it's more than just bringing back their data. It's about bringing back the opportunity to create their own business, especially in the retail media space, right? And you have to have both a good core at serving and all of the programmatic and everything in there, and you have to have a good data infrastructure, customer analytics, machine learning. And this is the combination of the two will now make that possible. You have a single place where you can create your own business. And that is not just about data control. That is about ensuring that your business is in business in the long term. Um, because that has, over time, been demonstrated um, by Amazon and Netflix and everyone else that if you own that part, you can really succeed because you're the captain of your ship. right? No one else is dictating how and where you're heading. So I, I think this is the future. You're watching the future happening. Yeah, I mean, I think that it uh, it really comes down to what we're like. I think what we're seeing, we are seeing a lot of changes in the industry, and one of the big ones is companies building their own ad platforms. And 
it usually takes a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort. And like how we think about it is every, everything we can build or, or we can merge and like, you know, uh, figure out how to provide. That's one less thing a company has to go figure out for themselves. So I think that every, every, every time we ship a new feature or acquire a company or whatever it is that we're helping those people be able to build an ad platform with less resources and less time, which will be a big shift in the advertising industry over time. Yeah. And I think, you know, we'll, we'll continue as we, you know, talk about the industry. Uh, I think we will have the opportunity to make more acquisitions in the future as we look at kind of having all the components that go into building a successful ad platform. Uh, so I don't think this will be the last one, but I don't know that we'll have one anytime, you know, in the, in the short future. I did. I had a Francina. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, yes, yeah, this delicious sandwich in, in Porto. Mine was a vegetarian one, uh, but it was very good. And I learned that after you order it, that it comes out, you take your, your fries and you, you dump it in the sauce and then you ask for more sauce. And what I witnessed the other night when we went out was, was how cranky someone from Porto gets if that sauce doesn't come out quickly enough. And so I, I witnessed some very unhappy people as they waited for that sauce, as they stared at their sandwich with not enough sauce. Sauce is important. <laughs>